Greetings, people. It's Stacy here. Today, I want to talk about physical ease and physical disease, lack of ease. Our physical bodies are 100% perfect and constantly being restored by our cells. Disease happens to those who are vibrating at a very low level of energy and who are not living authentically in their truth. All of that is from unresolved emotion. God, spirit, universe, whatever you call all that is, is not punishing you. What is going on is that you are not dealing with your stuff on an emotional level and then it must manifest physically. So how to clear that is really simple. Because if you are sick, you had to have been well first. So everything gets restored in life. So you could go back to wellness. How you go back to wellness is by being quiet, sitting in your body, and really being authentic with yourself, telling the truth. Understand this. Every part of our body, like I said, is speaking to us. Your hands open and closing. You're giving and receiving. If they're hurting, then you're not doing that. If your head hurts, you are confused. If your throat hurts, you're not speaking your truth. If your heart hurts, you don't know what forgiveness is. If your stomach hurts, you're not receiving. If your legs hurt, you're not making the right steps in your life, and on and on. The way to heal ourselves is to become wide awake to who we are and our birthright. Everything on this planet and everything within us, we are connected to. We are all one. So if we are all one and we are contracting things that we do not want, then we are off path. This is not a happenstance universe of illness being directed towards you. This is an invitation universe. You are inviting everything through yourself and your thoughts and your conscious and subconscious energies to attract to your life. So that's good or bad. It's all by invitation. There is nothing about our life that is not in our power and our control. We are the masters of our life. So when we're children, prior to being our own grown-ups and having our own space in life, we are taught other people's belief systems, their religions, their, oh, Uncle Joe had this disease, be careful, don't put too much salt on that, you know what happened to Uncle Joe? So this is put into your subconscious mind and it becomes a fear if it gets stuck there. It's like playing this tape recording over and over and over of fear. So our parents aren't trying to harm us. Nobody's trying to harm us. They're trying to protect us. But the best way to protect anybody is to let them know how powerful they are and how they can manifest different. So this isn't an airy fairy fairy tale. This is the law. So everything, my uncle Albert Einstein, love that man. Imagination is more important than knowledge. The truth of that is when you're connected to all that is, which we are, we're all part of this, we're all one family, then you are perfect also. The sun and moon are not arm wrestling, it's my turn, it's my turn. Every single thing is flowing in life perfection. So you can also. So you have to sit down and learn how to breathe and get in a space to know that you are no longer controlled by others' actions and thoughts and belief systems, that you choose your own. And then what you will be manifesting in your life is perfect ease. We're not being judged by life. We're being judged by ourselves. If other people's words, actions, diseases, thoughts, belief systems are being embedded in your brain and consciousness, I hope you're hanging around with really good people because that's where we attract all that lack. Your life is supposed to be fulfilling and abundant and joyful. Now, there are people who are born with disease. It happens. We don't have to understand th their path. What we do need to understand is they chose that, their soul chose that for them to learn their lessons through this life. And it's not a punishment. But I'm telling you this for sure. If you're ill and you like it, then you're supposed to be ill. Does that make sense? If you're feeling like crap, then this, there's something wrong with this. If you're watching the news, I promise if you never heard of the flu, you cannot manifest something that you don't know about. 
Every commercial on TV, every piece of the news is now a new disease, a new fear, a new shooting, a new medication, and all these have side effects. And the side effects of all of that is fear and disconnection. So we're afraid of our brothers and sisters. We're afraid of going on an airplane. We're afraid of hanging around kids because of the germs. If you are fear-based, your mind is off path. You have got to connect with what's the highest vibration is in love and not in a corny, corny way, in the superior, intelligent way. Love is what we're made of. That is us. So if we are love and we're vibrating high at that space at our crown chakra, which is the top of the head, which connects us to spirit, we're vibrating there. Nothing can touch us. There is nothing that will reach that because you're in God mind. You're not in mortal um, life thought. There's a wonderful saying, be in the world, but not of it. You, won't, you don't want to be connected to things that is not your truth. Your truth resides within you. And you know it's true when you feel really good. So your health is 100% your action. You are so powerful and you are you are able to manifest everything. You, are mani you can manifest ease, disease, abundance, lack, love, hate. You can have it all. That's the gift or curse, free will. It's exactly how you make it. So where you are right now, if things aren't working well in your life, if you're not feeling well, try sitting and being kind to yourself. If your throat hurts because you're not telling the truth, tell the truth. Tell it to yourself. If your heart hurts, forgive people. Nobody was thinking about you anyway. Everybody's thinking about themselves. There's a lot of people moving on this planet. There's no evil people. There really isn't. There's people that are asleep and afraid. Because happy people just spread that. You spread that shit everywhere, happiness and kindness. That's who you are. Let it out. So, right here, I wish you all the power in the world for you to connect and recognize your divine birthright. And you are all powerful. And we are all powerful. And nothing, if it's dis, anything with dis in front of it, means lack. We don't hang out in dis. I wish you all a blessed day, and we will talk soon. Take it easy.